Yo, what is going on people? And here we have the second operator for Operation Chimera. This is Lion, and this is gonna be his loadout. His gadget is called the EE-1D, and this allows Lions to survey hot zones and maintain quarantine protocols on missions. He uses it to detect movement in the area in order to determine if someone is breaking quarantine, curfew, or a perimeter. So this kind of sounds like a UAV, uh, if this has to be watching over the entire map to see when people break the perimeter. So I'm going to assume that this is good for detecting where attackers are going to be coming from. Uh, the only thing I'm wondering though is how is this going to differentiate him from Echo? Is his aerial drone going to be outside? Is it going to be uh, inside the maps? I know Echo's drone can basically just move around from room to room and disorient enemies. Uh, does this drone just do surveillance? Can you spot people? So yeah, I just I, I think I'm most interested to see this device over Finkas. Um, I also did a video on that yesterday, so you can click that card up top to see her loadout. So yeah, can't wait to see how his device plays out. Now when it comes to his actual weapons, um, he gets one new weapon which is called the V308 and this looks like a vector with a drum mic. Um, not sure how I feel about that because the vector already uh, in the game is, is, is a pretty good gun, but the only thing that balances it out is its low ammo count. So if this is basically just the vector with a bigger magazine, then I think there's going to be problems. But um, I don't know, maybe they'll tweak it and give it a lower fire rate or make it less accurate than Mira's vector. But he also gets the 417 Marks Mono Rifle and the SG uh, CQB, as well as the P9 Pistol and the Magnum. So he gets the same guns as everyone else in the GIGN. And he's coming with a claymore and a flashbang. And he's also going to be two speed and two armor, just like Finka. So he's going to have a pretty powerful loadout as well. Uh, I'm not going to read his backstory because honestly, it's not as interesting as Finka's, and it doesn't deal with how he got his gadget or anything like that. It's just mostly, um, you know, just how he got his how he got his name. But it's not as interesting as thinkers so I'll leave a link in the description down below in case you want to read that but yeah that's gonna be it for his short loadout if you found this video helpful you can leave a like and share it around uh, comment down below what are your thoughts who are you more hyped to play Finca or Lion and subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content I will be covering everything coming out of the Invitational so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video